I'm going to walk through two proposals that I have for suggested reviewers. Um, just for a little bit of background for those who aren't familiar with this feature. So if you're if you go to a merge request right now within the GitLab project, you can scroll down and view the comment that's posted by um, DangerBot. Don't know what that's about. Um, and then you'll see this reviewer roulette section, and you can see the number of reviewers based on how many the uh, file types that were changed, and then they're also based on time zones and workload. Um, so if you see these two reviewers, you can go ahead and manually add them over here via the sidebar or quick action. And that's kind of the workflow that we take internally. For users outside of the GitLab team, there is no reviewer roulette bot unless the teams have built it themselves. So we're hoping to add um, suggestions for reviewers using machine learning and make that available to any, well, to certain tiers um, for all users. So I have two proposals for adding these suggestions in the sidebar, and I'd love some feedback on both of them, the pros and cons, what you do and do not like, what's confusing or weird, um, if you think the components should be switched out for something else, anything, any thoughts would be great. Um, so yeah, there are two proposals, and I will start with Prototype A. So you can see that the sidebar is basically the same, but um, it's got zero reviewers. And then below it are three suggested reviewers. And this can be between one and five, I believe. In this case, I just show three. Um, they all have this suggested badge, which if you hover over, tells you what it is. And then you can click learn more to go to the documentation. Um, if you, okay, so if you saw this, Hopefully, you would not think that these are all assigned already. That's kind of my first question. Does it look like they're assigned or does it look like they're suggestions? So you can um, request review from any of these people. I will add the first one. Um, if you want to remove that as a reviewer, you would just go back to the sidebar like usual and click in and they'll be removed. Um, but in this case, we'll assign them and uh, in some cases, you might just want one reviewer. It depends on the team's workflow. Um, so in GitLab, we always have the reviewer maintainer, but let's just say you want one reviewer and you don't want to see this anymore. The sidebar is already quite cluttered. It's not a new problem. This is just, this is how the sidebar is. And you might not want to see these all the time. So in that case, you could, um, you see this dismiss reviewer suggestions button, which I have another tool tip for. Hide all suggestions for this merge request sidebar. Suggestions will still be available in the reviewer dropdown, which is this dropdown here. This text, by the way, has not been, or this text um, does not have tag writer input, which is why it sounds kind of clunky and weird. Um, so if you saw this dismiss reviewer suggestions link, what would you think would happen? I mean, I just told you, so it's not ideal. But if you didn't see that, what would you think? So in this case, I will click dismiss reviewer suggestions and the suggestions disappear. And now it just looks like the sidebar that we all know and love. Um, you can still add reviewers via the sidebar or via the, via the dropdown. The second prototype is very similar, but instead of adding the reviewers in that kind of grayed out look, um, it's got a subheader called suggested reviewers, which is where we have our link to the documentation if you didn't know what that was. Um, and then it's kind of the same flow. You can request a reviewer here. You can remove the reviewer the same way. Um, and, and going back to that flow where I don't want to add another reviewer, please get rid of this. The, the, uh, the way to get rid of that would be clicking this carrot and then the suggested reviewers would just be collapsed and then you could expand them if you wanted to. Um, and building on that, what we were thinking is if you did have a reviewer selected and then you left the merge request or refreshed it for any reason, then we would auto collapse the suggested reviewers because chances are you don't want to see them all the time. And um, other people who are coming to that merge request probably also don't need to see this all the time. Um, and I think that covers the whole flow. So yeah, this is um, prototype B. This one was prototype A and I would love any feedback that you have. Thank you.